I enjoy hauling and I enjoy training three-year-olds. Like that's the main thing I like. So this is an exciting time of year, I guess, you know, with the futurity coming up and the world finals. That's what I think about all year. I've been showing a lot all year. We've been hauling. I've been showing two horses in the open, two horses in the novice. Every once in a while I show one, the five. So I mean like I've been to the herd a lot of times this year. And just through that, your your confidence level in showing and your awareness to me like is so much better. Right now I feel like I'm really in tune to how I need a horse to be when I go drop my hand. There seems to be a consistent theme with anybody that I talk to in the cutting horse industry. James Payne is the hardest working <laughs> person in the cutting horse business. So where does the work ethic, that grind mentality come from? From a kid with my parents, my dad, and then going to work for Dick and Brenda Peeper that, that just kind of continued there. You know, it's just that mentality of that if they improved 1% a day, you'd have them trained in 100 days. You've got to do five days a week, six days a week from the beginning on. It's not just like we're 90 days out of the futurity and when they like start working them seven days a week now. They've got to have a schedule. My whole deal with training horses, showing horses, it's all about consistency. And I found over the years, the more simple and more consistent I keep it, the more success I have. What are your expectations of an open level futurity horse? that you're gonna to take to Fort Worth? A lot. <laughs> they need to be really cowy. That's, I feel like that's the main thing. And they, the good ones just want to more than most of them. You know, at the, you want a cowy when you want to be athletic and all of those things. But at the end of the day, the ones that continuously pull through for you, they just really want to cut. They want to hold a cow, uh, or to me. That's what really separates them. I think that the one thing that makes a person get up every day of the next year is hoping that the one they've got this year is better than the ones they've had in the past. But like you don't really fully trust anything until you show it a little bit and you see what you've got. I have one that I like for sure kind of stands out to me, just the intelligence and the smarts and stuff like that. But at the same time, she's real hot. But like a little hotter horse is a little more unpredictable. I would like to think that I know them pretty well, but it's just going to be based on adjustments from now on. I don't really look at it as far as going up against somebody, but um, if I had to go to a cut and then there's only going to be two other people there, I wouldn't really pick Matt and James, you know? But, you know, James's are going to stop hard and they're going to be solid as a rock and, and he'll be able to ask them and, I mean, he knows his deal. I watch Tatum and the success he's had, and I mean, he, he's just good at what he does. He has, a, you know, ability to will himself into some wins, you know, and I don't, not everybody has that. Like he, you know, he has that confidence in himself and an ability to show beyond maybe what he's really got underneath him sometimes. And to me, that makes him special. I think he's one of those guys. What does Matt, in your opinion, bring to the table as a competitor going into the futurity? Talent and experience level. Like the first year that I would add a futurity horse, I think he'd add a little Pepto Gal and a Zach T. Woodmare. I was in awe of his ability. I mean, like, he was the man. He can win more on a lesser caliber horse than a lot of people can on more horse. I feel like he's evolved to the spot where his horses are really efficient. You gotta mark him. How bad do you want to win the Futurity this year? As bad as everybody else does. I think I have a horse this year that might give me a shot at it, we'll see. But I try not to think about winning the Futurity as much as go do my job, focus on my job, make sure my horse is prepared and the results take care of themselves. And hopefully if I do that, maybe when it's over, I will be. What is the secret to a successful run at the NCHA Futurity? Good cows and a trained horse, I reckon. There, there ain't much secret. Simple, <laughs> yeah. There ain't much secret. It's hard to, it's hard to get that done, but yeah. Yeah, cut good cows and have a trained horse. <laughs> I love it.